Hey guys, welcome back to Hypertora. I've got my uh, Doki Doki boxy here for June. Um, a lot earlier than the last one came. I think my last box came maybe two weeks ago. Um, I'm on the proper sort of shipping schedule now um, with my payments and stuff, so everything will uh, come in the first shipment uh, lot instead of the second shipment, uh, which my last box came in. Um, so it's really nice to get this at the end of the, uh, end of the month. Normally my boxes uh, come around the 20th, um, even though the Tokyo Treat comes early, it's normally around the 20th anyway, so they all tend to turn up at the same time. So it's nice to have this one a little bit staggered. Um, so let's open this up and see what's inside. I'm having to use a key uh, to get into this because uh, I left my uh, pen knife at home after I took it off my keychain for Comic Con because of extra security. Um, so it might take me a few extra seconds to get into this. Um, if you do want to get this box, then there is a uh, discount code down below in the description um, and in the comments, which will, uh, I think, give you 10% off a uh, uh, your box. I think it's uh, for the uh, Deco box, which this one is. It's the premium. And I think the code's valid until the end of July. And you can make one use of that. It's one per person. Um, so you can't use it more than once. Um, the nice thing about Doki Doki Boxy is you can, uh, if you want to uh, only have one box, you can, unlike the other boxes, they let you just buy one uh, for the next one. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. They do have the subscription option, but they do let you just buy one box as a one-off if you really want to, which is quite nice. So yeah, it's definitely the June box. Uh, we have our nice kind of uh, graphical booklet here with uh, information about what's inside, which I will definitely use because my Japanese is terrible. Um, the only thing that they're missing from this, which I wish they'd put in here, was maybe DIY just instructions uh, for when they put DIY in here. Um, which is the one thing that Tokyo Treat has that this doesn't have, other than the fact that this doesn't tend to have a drink either. Um, so that would be a nice extra feature. If, if you're watching Ducky Ducky Boxy, even if you don't, can't afford to put a drink in, maybe add an option where you can add a, quid, a couple of quid extra onto your uh, monthly subscription so you can get a Japanese drink. Because I absolutely love Japanese uh, drinks. They're things that you just can't get. Uh, in other countries, uh, at least not very easily. Um, but yeah, let's start with this box. Um, that is pretty full. Um, that's pretty <laughs> a nice uh, selection of stuff in there. Where I can see some sweet stuff and some savory stuff. Um, I love how full this box is. It's my most expensive box um, uh, when you take off the discount code and stuff. Uh, I think it would be around similar to Tokyo Treat if you don't have a discount code for Tokyo Treat because I have a permanent discount on Tokyo Treat because um, I got one of the li lifetime offers. Um, so I think it's r roughly the same price, but with the discount on Tokyo Tree, this is my most expensive box. Um, yeah, let's start and see what we've got inside here. So we have what looks like some katsu chicken and soy sauce flavored crisps. Um, so it's actually um, Sapporo potato barbecue beef katsu. That's interesting. So um, katsu chicken, if you've never had it, is really nice, uh, but it's um, beef uh, rather than chicken. I don't think I've had katsu beef, I've always had katsu chicken. Um, so I've had that in the um, in Japan, the curried version, but it's gonna be interesting trying the barbecue version with the beef. We have uh, some uh, candy whistles. So these would be a uh, grape immune, uh, immune candy uh, flavored. Um, really else. I'm not too sure what's in the uh, packet at the bottom, um, or if there's anything in there at all. Um, but th these whistle, they make a great tune. I had this in my uh, last candy box. Um, not in that flavour, but I had the uh, whistles. These look like they're going to be pretty tasty. Um, so it looks like some strawberry candy coated in chocolate. Um, the way it's squirting makes me think it might be a liquidy centre, but part of me also thinks it might be gummy just from how solid that is. Um, so both items we've had so far are from the uh, chibi box, which is the small box. Um, I think this is also from the uh, chibi box, if I can find it. Where are we? So, I can't actually see this on this box. This might be the extra candy um, item. So, you get an extra candy item if you um, save it, you're gonna take a photo of the box and post it onto social media. So, if I can't actually see this on here right now, it possibly means this is my extra candy item. Um, the only disadvantage of that is I can't actually see uh, what, any information about it. So, I'll have to try this, but it's by uh, Meji, which is a really nice chocolate brand. Um, so that's going to be amazing. Uh, these always remind me of uh, kind of pot noodle style things, but this is um, obviously a chocolate item. Uh, I'm not too sure what's in the center. I'm trying to find it on the uh, booklet here. 
I can't actually, I think I'm going blind. Um, this also seems to not be on the booklet. I, I don't know if you guys can see it a lot better than I can, um, all the items in there, but I cannot see this on there. I, I, I was missing, a, I did select the option last month, so maybe I've got two items. I'll put them to the side for now and see if I can notice them a bit later. Um, but yeah, with any luck, they'll, they'll be my extra items for uh, posting on social media with the uh, photo. So make sure you select that option. It's an extra piece of candy. All you have to do is take a photo um, and put it onto social media. Um, so next up, we have some uh, Piccola, um, the light rolled pancakes with uh, green tea um, there, which is really nice. That's definitely on there. This is a chibi uh, box item. Uh, so it says uh, matcha latte. And I love these uh, pancake flavor things. They're like pancakes, but they are really thin. They've been rolled up and dried out. So they're really nice savory snacks with a kind of sweet twist to them. Our next savory item is another bag of crisps uh, or chips, depending on where you're from. Um, I'm not entirely sure what flavor this is. Oh, BLT. So uh, yeah, BLT flavored, uh, super barley uh, perinky. Um, so it has double the recommended amount of dietary fiber. So that's gonna be a nice item to try. I don't think I've ever had a BLT flavored uh, set of crisps. Um, so <laughs> some really nice unusual items to try out. We've got some uh, potato chips. These look like just ordinary potato chips. Um, but it says uh, black pepper on here. So I, it might be just like your normal salty potato chips with some pepper on there. Um, up next we have, it looks like bread or stale bread. Um, I don't think I've seen anything like this before. Where are we? So it's uh, Uncle Perez uh, butter rusk. Um, so sweet baked treat coated in delicious sugary goodness. So that they're hard like biscuits, but they look like um, they're almost like slices of bread there that you've maybe cut up and dried out. So that's that would be an interesting sensation. Um, up next we have some uh, Parikiki, Parikiki. I, I can't pronounce that very well. So this is uh, another item which I believe is um, from the sort of small chibi box. Uh, you can uh, you tend to get these kind of things um, in Japan quite often. There, uh, these ones are barbecue flavored. Um, you quite often get soy sauce flavored um, ones of these, but they're like pretzel sticks. And it's nice to find a barbecue flavored one. I don't think I've had barbecue flavored before. Up next we have. It feels like. Um, just feeling the packaging, it feels like they kind of what's it, um, those normal things we get. Um, but it says premium, and it looks like there's some beef on there, so it looks like it's beef flavored. So premium um, amiibo, steak and wasabi flavor. So that's really interesting. So we have um, amiibo quite often in uh, between the Japanese boxes, uh, but I don't think I've had a premium one. Uh, so that's gonna be interesting to try out. Um, and then we have some pure gummies, I love gummies. So these look like cherry and possibly milk by looking at the uh, packaging, but I can't tell. So it's, no, it's just uh, cherry soda flavor. Um, so there's uh, heart shapes there. That's really nice. I love gummies and these look like they're gonna taste absolutely amazing. That's another small uh, cheapy box item. <laughs> then we've got a uh, giant uh, uh, Kibilico, um Z. Cones, so these are like ice cream cones, uh, but with a uh, candy inside. I think we re rarely do we get these. I think maybe once before I've had these in a uh, Japanese candy box a very long time ago, and I haven't had one since. So it's really nice to get one of these. I think it's uh, chocolate uh, and cookie centered by looking at this. Cookies and milk chocolate um, in a cone, so that's really nice. Um, these are normally hard to get hold of, or you can get hold of them in the UK from some Japanese suppliers, but they tend to be quite expensive. So we got some uh, traditional Pocky um, in a flavor I don't think I've had before. This is from the TV small box. Um, so sunny apple of happiness. I've never had apple Pocky before. Uh, it's quite interesting. It seems the biscuit on the inside uh, is actually shaped like a heart uh, there um, with your apple candy around the outside. That's something new. I've never had apple uh, Pocky. So that's gonna be a nice try. Um, it's nice to get items in these boxes that I've never tried before. We have, this looks like some little uh, biscuits. Um, this is uh, Milk Burrow, so it's just a, uh, a snack that a lot of Japanese uh, remember fondly. 
Um, so mildly sweet and quick to melt in your mouth. Popular uh, treat for babies in Japan. So that's quite nice. Uh, they're, they're really small um, little snack-like items. I, I think I can go through the whole bag probably in a few seconds. Up next, we've got some uh, calipi, some more crisps. These look like they're shrimp flavored with garlic. So it says um, garlic soy sauce, uh, kappa uh, ebison. So crunchy shrimp flavored snacks um, that resemble French fries. Um, not only is this uh, digitally shrimp flavored, it's also um, garlic powder uh, flavored as well in the soy sauce. That'll be an interesting thing. I think my last box had some uh, rice uh, discs in them which were shrimp flavored. They were a little bit weird, um, but crisps, I tend to be okay with the shrimp. Up next, we have uh, one of our premium Decker box items. This is a um, curry flavor. This is Carl curry flavored. So it's, um, they look like quavers, um, if you've ever had quavers before um, in curry. So that, that's quite interesting. Uh, kind of puffed crisps as such. There's so many items here and there's still more to go through, uh, which is what I love about this box. There's so many different items in it. Um, so we've got uh, some gummy candies. I've had stuff like this before. They've shaped it like a phone. Um, but there's little squares in there of uh, gummies and a toothpick, which you can use to pick them up with. Um, they're really nice. I've had stuff like that before, but I love gummies, so nonetheless, they're amazing. <laughs> We've got our uh, premium item here. So this is the uh, where you choose between your extra um, snack or your extra uh, anime item. I choose anime. So I've got a uh, female character. I'm trying to place that. It looks like a familiar anime. Um, I want to say it, but I can't quite remember it. Comment down below and tell me what that is. Um, I'm probably being rather stupid like last month with the Attack of the Titan. It looks like an anime I've watched. I really, really can't remember which what the name of the anime is. I've got an idea, but my idea might not quite be right. Um, but yeah, I, I'm loving getting these little straps. Um, I, my phone doesn't have a strap thing to attach these to, so at the moment I've uh, attached them to my keys. Um, but it might be nice to see if they're eventually maybe going to switch off of the straps and try some other anime items. Um, I suppose they're trying to keep it cheap, so straps are the obvious item, but once you've got a lot of straps, if you're uh, collecting them, it's great. If you're uh, not collecting them, you just want them for the anime items. You've, you end up with a lot of straps. Uh, we have these uh, these usually are the peanuts. Um, if I can find them on the book here. Where are they? Yep, this is a uh, premium Decker box item. So it says uh, egg hunt custard pudding. Uh, so the chocolate balls in uh, uh, rich white chocolate. So that's going to be something really nice to uh, try out. Normally when I have the stuff with this kind of bird on the front, they're peanuts uh, coated in chocolate. So it's nice to have something different like that. <laughs> we have a giant, uh, this is a Choco uh, Monica. Um, it's basically a giant wafer with uh, chocolate on the inside. It looks like chocolate rice krispies on the inside as well. This is a Decker Box premium item. Uh, it's absolutely massive. We're getting through this box now. Uh, we have another Deco item from the uh, premium box. So we got some strawberry Hello Kitty pretzels, uh, pretzel sticks. Um, so these aren't Pocky, they're a kind of um, different brand of Pocky, um, for the pretzel, but that's uh, really nice. And I love the strawberry flavoring. Um, it's nice and sweet. And then we've got uh, DIY candy. I think we've had something similar to this before. I think it's like a gummy. Um, I've definitely had something like this in a previous, uh, I think, Tokyo treat box. So it's a gummy, you can coat it in a kind of sugary syrup, and then uh, you sort of coat it in a powder uh, to resemble ice, uh, which is a really nice um, DIY. That's the end of the box. Um, it's always worth checking the uh, booklet here just to make sure you've got everything uh, with any box that you get. Um, and as far as I can see, we've got everything, um, and we've got a few extra items here. So. I'm assuming um, these are the extra items for uh, posting photos onto social media um, that you get. Actually, this one says bonus on it. So that's my bonus snack um, for posting on social media, which must mean either this is an extra item that's just been stuck in there 
and or I I'm truly going blind and can't see it on the uh, booklet here. Um, it could also be the bonus item. I don't think I had a bonus item in last month's, um, but I selected the option, so it could be from that as well. Um, but yeah, this is a really amazing box. Um, I'm trying to think what to try out. Um, I will go for the DIY. I've had this before, um, but in case you haven't seen a previous video, I'll open this up because this is really easy to make. So um, inside the uh, packaging here, you have a tray. Um, you've got four kind of gummy candy uh, ice creams um, and you've got some lolly stick uh, pops to put into them. Uh, which is a really nice touch with this uh, to get some mini uh, lolly stick pops. Um, I won't be eating all of these now on camera though. And then what you have after that is there's a, this sachet of, uh, it's like a syrup, it's a very sugary uh, mix you don't want to spill it because it's very hard to clean up like you pour that into one of these uh sort of receptacle trays here uh squeeze that all out there's normally more than enough there for what you uh want and then there's some uh it's like icing sugar as far as i can tell it's meant to make it look like a kind of frosted ice cream which you can shake out on the other side there and then what we do is you take your uh, square ice cream block um, shame these aren't rectangular yeah? push your uh, lolly stick into it and then you can roll it around in the syrup and then dip it in the uh, icing sugar powder to uh, try and resemble a bit of a ice cream and that's dripping quite badly so it's meant to sort of be the icing sugar is like a frost on the ice cream and then you eat it. So it's um, really sugary. There is so much sugar in that. You've basically got a chewy, sugary um, gummy. Oh, it's not a gummy, but like a chewitz um, kind of thing in the center, coated in sugar syrup, coated in icing sugar. So there is so much sugar in that, um, but it's really nice nonetheless. Um, I do want to see what this is. Um, because, uh, I, I don't know if it's meant to have a liquidy center based on the uh, picture on the outside of that, or if it's uh, gonna be like a jelly bean. So, but it's definitely coated in chocolate. Yeah, so that's got a, um, gummy center. It's not as hard as a jelly bean, but it reminds me of some other Meiji chocolate I've had before. That is absolutely amazing. I don't think this is going to last an hour after I finish this, this uh, recording. I'm going to eat this very quickly. Um, this tastes amazing. Um, I'm absolutely loving the chocolate and I'm loving the uh, strawberry center. Um, I love chocolate like this. Um, I think the other chocolate I've had with Secure in the center by Meji as well, the little square ones, they have the gummies in them, but they also have a kind of gooey center occasionally. Um, so I absolutely love Meji chocolate. I absolutely welcome more of that in any box. Um, I will open up our other um, sort of bonus item because you uh, can't actually see in the booklet what, what it is. It doesn't really tell you. Um, so it would be interesting if they maybe put a little slip in to say what it was. <laughs> we get a little sticker in here, which is pretty cool. And these look like some choco balls with sort of a, maybe a Rice Krispie-like center. Yeah, so there's a puffed uh, center. I'm trying to think what the puffed center tastes like. It's like your normal puffed um, Japanese candy coated in chocolate actually. I'm not entirely sure what the center is made of, if it's corn or if it's um, uh, too big to be rice, I think. Um, so that's really nice. Um, some of these items, we, we've had stuff like this before. So th these are just usual gummies. I'm sort of, I, I avoid too much on the video opening up um, some of these things, uh, like the savory crisp packets, because they uh, you have to eat them very quickly before they go stale. But I will open up some Pocky. Oh, a lovely smell of apple. That candy apple smell. So 
So that's really nice. That reminds me of um, some Apple DIY candies we've had before. I think that's one of my favourite po um, styles of Pocky, actually. Um, it's my first time having Apple. That's really nice. I think that's um, a lot nicer than some of the other Pockies I've had. And I've had things like melon and all sorts of Pocky before. Um, certainly nicer than green tea Pocky, which I've still been a little bit off green tea uh, since the Japanese tea ceremony I had because it was so bitter, um, so pure compared to uh, your, your normal just sweet green tea. Um, I do want to see what these are like because they're supposedly chocolate without peanuts. It's got a nice kind of dispenser on it. So it's uh, white chocolate on the outside and then uh, crunchy on the inside. So similar to the Meji um, chocolate, but it's a crispy center instead of a gummy center. What I will do is I'll open this up. Um, this will probably be the last thing I open up today because uh, I don't think I've had something like this on a camera for a while. So you, I think you might, guys might like to see it. It's a bit like opening an ice cream, except it's not going to melt on you, um, unless it's particularly hot and your chocolate melts. So you've got a uh, nice uh, Calippo uh, cone there, and it's got a kind of cookie, rice crispy, chocolatey top to it. Hmm. Creates a lot of crumbs. But yeah, it's supposed to be like the sensation of eating an ice cream, but not so uh, cold. So that's a really nice item. I absolutely love that. Um, but yeah, that's everything I'm going to open up today. Um, we've got quite a few bags of crisps here. These normally are what um, last me to my next box. Um, all the sweet stuff like this I eat very quickly uh, within the first week of getting the box. And then these I uh, gradually stagger out to my next boxes. Uh, please do comment down below and let me know what your favourite item from this box was. I'm interested to know what you would love to try. Um, let me know if you get in the box as well, uh, uh, when you get your box. It's always interesting to see when other people get their boxes. Um, and uh, if you get the bonus item, let me know what you get. Um, it would be interesting to see if you get the same item as I do or if you get something different. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, someone mentioned in one of my other videos uh, about t-shirts. I am selling t-shirts uh, soon to try and support my channel because I spend so much on subscription boxes every month. Um, they're not quite ready yet. While the store's technically live, um, I'm waiting for my um, demo, my uh, sample t-shirt, just to make sure the quality is uh, the right for you, um, kind of quality for you guys. I don't want to advertise it to you guys to get my sample t-shirt to find it's got a really bad quality. Um, so once that's come, hopefully in the next week, I'll uh, be posting links up to that on my uh, channels and my social media. Uh, you can see a preview of it here. It's not quite the same as the one I'm wearing, uh, but it's got a chibi of the uh, sort of my logo on it. Um, so if you want one of those, um, please hang around and look, keep an eye out for that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching. Please do hit the like button down in that bottom uh, corner. Uh, please do hit the subscribe button down below to see more unboxing videos. But otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.